Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to learn how to find the volume of a rectangular prism. To find the volume of a rectangular prism, you just need to remember uh, one formula, and that is volume equals length times width times height. If you remember that, and uh, you're given the length and the width and the height, you can figure out the volume of any rectangular prism. So let's start with example number one. We have a rectangular prism here, it's drawn out, and there are some numbers uh, labeled on there. So our first step, let's rewrite this uh, formula. So we have volume equals length times width times height, L times W times H. So now let's plug in some numbers for uh, those variables. So it doesn't actually matter um, which numbers you use for length and width. Um, so don't worry about it too much as long as uh, you are using both uh, the length and the width, the different numbers. So in this case, uh, we know 5 is our height, um, and our length and width are either 4 and 12 or 12 and 4. As long as we're using both the 4 feet and the 12 feet, it doesn't matter which one we choose for our length and our width. Our answer is going to be the same. Um, so, I usually choose the longer side for length, that's just me, but again, it doesn't really matter. So let's rewrite this, we have V equals, so our longer side for me, that'd be 12, that'd be our length, our width then would be 4, so 12 times 4, and our height would be 5. So let's go ahead and multiply these together, so we have our volume, I like to separate it out and do... Uh, two numbers first and then multiply the last one. So I would do 12 times four, that's gonna be 48 times five. And 48 times five equals 240. So our answer here for example one, the volume of this rectangular prism is 240 feet cubed. Your answer is always gonna be in feet in cubed feet, so feet cubed uh, would be the uh, unit of measure for your answer. So we circle that. Now let's try number two. So for number two, we don't have a rectangular prism drawn out. You can draw it out if it helps you, but uh, if you realize they give you um, the numbers for length and width and height uh, written out, so you can just put those straight into the formula. So again, if we write our formula, we have v equals length times width times height. So now let's sub in our values. So it says in the uh, problem, it has this prism has a length of eight, so eight inches, times a width of 11 inches, and a height of seven inches. So again, if we multiply this through, I like to do the first two first. So eight times 11 is 88 times 7, and then 88 times 7 equals 616. Um, and again, that is going to be, in this example, we have inches, not feet, so that's going to be 616 inches cubed, or 616 cubic inches. So for these next two problems, uh, you can feel free to pause the video and try them on your own if you're feeling confident. Or if not, uh, and you just want to follow along with me, that's fine as well. So for number three, we have a rectangular prism drawn out here uh, with the dimensions of four inches, six inches, and two inches. So let's start by writing our, our formula. We have V equals L times W times H. Now let's plug in our values. So V equals length, I always use the larger number, so we're gonna say four for our length, times two for our width, and then times six for our height. So now let's multiply these through. V equals four times two is eight times six, and eight times six equals 48. And then remember, our unit of measure is inches, cubed or cubic inches. So our answer is 48 cubic inches. Let's try number four. 
This says a rectangular prism has a length of 20 millimeters, a width of 12 millimeters, and a height of 3 millimeters. What is the volume of the prism? So we write out our formula, V equals length times width times height. And now we plug in our numbers. The length, the problem tells us is 20. The width is 12. And the height is 3. So now if we multiply this out, 20 times 12 is 240 times 3, and that is going to give us 720, and our unit of measure is millimeters cubed, or 720 cubic millimeters. <clears throat> so hopefully after watching this video, you all have a better understanding of how to find the volume of rectangular prisms. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.